Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E breathe slow Connect to re uppercut, clean blow Ben Horner for self poor Jared Pibba, John Faxton. Um, not on the terms that we really want to be talking, but um, sad times. Brendan Ingle, you know, sadly passing away. I know you had strong connections with him, early parts of your career. Um, yeah, just some memories, you know. Yeah, temporary in Sheffield, temporary with Brendan. Um, had some great times, um, had some good wins, as well as losses. But um, with Brendan, I think he helped me more outside of boxing. Than he actually did inside of boxing. My mother used to like assisted to help me become, you know, area champion and continental champion. I'd done a lot of my work towards the end of my career with Graham, where I then won the British and European title. What you know, where you know, I was very proud of. Um, I was very proud of all my career. But Brendan helped, helped me, had a lot of sides. He did with a lot of people. He had um, strange techniques that seemed to work. He needed to do various things. Um, but, you know, they seemed to work and uh, brought me out myself. Gave me a lot of self-confidence to go out and make a business for myself. He used to have me sort of like shadowing all over the place. John, I've got a school to go to. Do you want to come with me? Bad Irish impression, I know. But I'd go along with him. I'd see him do these talks to the kids or into businesses. And I thought, you know what, if he can do it, I can do it. So uh, I then started going around schools in the Norwich area. Then any bullying motivational workshops and uh, I made a little bit of a career out of it. Then I went into you know working with blue chip businesses, then a lot of motivational speaking and um, I've been doing all right but that all come from working, listening um, and learning from uh, Brendan Ingle. Something that gets brought up a lot um, in a particular video you see online, Brendan's way of training in the gym, building confidence um, unfortunately, it's your face that gets seen in the ring. Um, his techniques of getting you in there and singing. Um, do you feel that that's something like, again, it's not just his boxing brain, it's everything about the man. The first time he got me, uh, he got me in the ring, uh, ring he said, uh, John, sing us a song. I thought, why? I sang a song. Then he said, talk about yourself for a minute. Why? You, I didn't really understand the techniques, why, why he was doing it. But when you're, in, when you're in, put in front of a camera, you're live on Sky Sports, ITV, whatever, Box Nation, you're live on the TV. There's no rerun. You've got to come out with the right answers, saying the right things, not disrespecting your opponent, you know, and being professional at all times. And that's one thing I got from him. Um, just to stand up, talk. He then takes you, Jono, talk about yourself for a minute. I said, Brendan, can I have five minutes? I can't talk anymore. <laughs> well, there we go. It just goes to prove that, you know, as much as we know of Brendan in the ring, is what he'd done outside the ring as well, that the Inklebank gym is just... It wasn't just me he helped. He helped so many people. Johnny Nelson is a major person to come out of that um, Inklebank gym with not just a fantastic boxing career, but with a lifetime job. You know, he's now a pundit on Sky Sports. When he turned pro, he was rubbish. And Brendan will even say that. And for someone to win the British European, the world title, and defend his world title 13 times, that's just a little bit from uh, what Brendan Ingle did produce. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, John. Um, yeah. Thank you. Speak to you again soon. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you.